Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a what I eat in the day video. So uh, I'm gonna start the day with something that I absolutely hate doing every morning. So I've been doing this for the last week. Every day I've been drinking this gut healing drink. It tastes so gross, guys. It's so disgusting. So yeah, apparently it's really good for the gut and helps with bloating and digestion. So I'm trying it out and I'll let you guys know if it's good. So today's video is sponsored by LifeSub. Yay! <laughs> As you guys know, I don't really take up sponsored content and LifeSub is something I've been using for so many years now. I'm talking about like over three years. So really happy about that because this is something I've been using. So in case you guys don't know, LifeSub is a nutrition app. It helps you to track your macros. Um, it is extremely helpful when you're trying to lose weight or when you're trying to gain muscles. And I've used that for both of those purposes over the last three years. So anyway, today I'm going to share my macros and what I eat to lose some weight. Um, you can download the app using the link down in the description box. Anyway, I'm going to start my day with a disgusting drink. And then the rest of the day will be amazing, all right? Let's just, let's just do this. Oh my God, let's just get this over with. I'm gonna scald this and then drink that. Ooh. Yes, it's done. Now I'm gonna make my breakfast. I'm gonna make my sweet potato porridge in the morning and this is a purple sweet potato. And my sweet potato is 370 grams and I'll just pop that measurements in like some. And I'll just cook this with water and also some almond milk. In the meantime, I'm making my almond butter. And the almond butter is ready. All I have here is just some salt and almonds. Mm. This stuff is so good. Mm. Now I'm gonna blend up the sweet potato with almond milk. I also made myself some jello. So these are high in protein. All these are pretty much block of- Oh my god, it's coming out so nicely. <gasps> That's my jelly. Oh my god, it's so good. Look at my breakfast bowl. Looks so amazing. Oh my god. So all these are gelatin bowls and they are just packed with protein. <laughs> so if you want something different, something warm for breakfast, then I recommend you trying this sweet potato porridge bowl. It's really good man, I love it. Time for lunch. So I made healthy nachos with thinly sliced potatoes. So I made two batches of potato chips, one dusted with potato starch to get more crisp for Adrian and one without. Just spray it with some oil and season with salt. It's that simple. And now I'm gonna cook the minced beef and this is grass fed and also extra lean. I'm gonna season with some ginger and lots of cumin and some chipotle powder and that's just gonna spice it up a little bit like taco seasoning. Some smoked paprika. Yes, I love this. Now I'm just gonna cook it. A tablespoon of tomato paste and also some salt. So here's my potato and that's my minced beef. That's guacamole, so that's just avocado with lime. Pico de gallo, just tomatoes with coriander and lime and salt. Salt as well. And also that's some spinach and rockets. So I have some of the minced beef here because I don't want it to soak up the, the potatoes. Look at the potatoes, it looks so freaking amazing. Now I'm just gonna dress some vegetables on it. So I've blanched the vegetables with some hot water. Some of the tomatoes, whoa, that looks amazing. And the guacamole. On top. Ta da! Mm. All right, that's the chips. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. What's healthy about it? It's like regular nachos. Mm. Potatoes are really crunchy. Did mm. you fry them or? No, it's just in the oven. Ah. I actually prefer the one without potato starch. It's actually more crispy. Mm. I think all you need is a lot of guacamole. Mm. I probably put in some chili. Yeah. Cholula sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Is that too much? <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> Feels like a cheat meal. Feels unhealthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's actually healthy. Can you make this every movie night? Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, it takes a bit of effort to make the potato. First, you gotta slice it. 
Actually, that's all you need to do. <laughs> Slice it, put it in the oven, spray some oil. That's it. Let's so. top this up and get something on the TV. And then I'm gonna head off to do my eyebrows, get it like microbladed again, a touch up, and I'll be back for dinner. Bye. Mm. I just got back from my appointment and look at my brows. Oh my god, I love it so much. I like it a lot better this time around. So this is my touch up and I like it better than the first time around because um, um, I like it a little bit straighter and this time around it's a little bit straighter. But yeah, I have makeup on because I just think I look ridiculous with like thick Shin-chan eyebrow without any makeup. So anyway, I put on some makeup. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through my macro with you guys because I haven't done it. I forgot about it My current macro is about 40% carbs, 30% protein and 30% fat And again, I'm not super strict about it if I am like 2% lower in carb or 2% 5% higher or 10% higher It's just there for a guy. So I try my best to hit the target But if I go a little bit under or upper, I, I don't care to be honest So for my breakfast, I had about 20 grams of protein So I try to hit about like 20 grams each meal and for my carbs, I had 77 grams because there's a lot of sweet potatoes in there. Uh, but that's okay because I'm gonna balance it out later at night. I'm not gonna have such heavy carb dinner. And fat, 14 grams. So that's kind of on the point. And before I forget, one of my favorite features on LifeSum is their recipes. They have tons of recipes and they all look so freaking good. Like I just want to try them. I think that this is really convenient because there's calories included, there's macros included in here so you don't have to figure out yourself. You know like there are times that you just don't know what to eat and you want some inspiration. You can just hop onto the app and just pick something. And the favorite part for me is that I can add my own recipes and attach my cute photos on it and that's very important okay my cute photos <laughs> and yeah just save it on an app so I don't include all my recipes in here I just include like some of them like the ones that I think are a little bit more difficult so as you can see my latest addition is my favorite protein jelly oh my god they're so good oh my god I have some with me right here I forgot to show you guys oh my god the Hello Kitty one is so so good. So cute. <laughs> I'm so disgusting. <laughs> but my favorite flavor is this purple one. Tastes like berries. So good. Mm. Anyway, I got distracted there. So I'm gonna have these protein jellies for my snacks. Um, normally, I don't have snacks throughout the day just because of my digestion issues. I don't normally have snacks. So I only have three meals a day. But today, I'm gonna treat myself with some protein jelly. And yeah, this is so high in protein, guys. Like, for each serving, you get mostly protein, a little bit of carbs, and a little bit of fat. The carbs come from the almond milk and also just the powders. Oh, e, she. This is like a little pig. I'm <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I don't wanna eat that, but you know what? I can make it again. It's so satisfying because it is healthy, it is delicious, it's guilt-free, makes me happy, okay. Anyways, I've just included the potato beef nachos under the recipe section. And yeah, the macro is 42 grams of protein. That's quite good, quite high. 45 grams of carbs and 20 grams of fat. I think that's pretty good. And that's about 500 calories. All right, I hope you find that helpful. So this is what I do to help me to maintain my weight right now and also have like enough carbs, protein and fat so that I'm consuming enough food and not too much or not too little. So yeah, it is really, really helpful if you wanna lose some weight to just kind of track your progress. If you don't know how much you're eating right now or what the macronutrients are, you can just chuck what you normally eat down into the app and then the app is gonna spit out the number. Like this is, you know, like, 1,500 calories, 50% carbs, 30% protein, or 20% fat. And you can just adjust it based on how you feel. Like if you feel like you're feeling very tired with lower carbs, then maybe you can increase your carb and you know, just adjust it based on how you feel. You don't have to follow someone else's macronutrients. You adjust it based on how you feel. Not everyone eats the same amount of food and feels the same way. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> 
And also, if you're taller or bigger, obviously you're gonna consume more calories. So don't follow my calories, guys. <laughs> And this is just a rough guide for me as well. Anyways, I'm gonna get some work done because I have lots of work to do. And then I'm going to have dinner. And I'm so freaking excited about that because that's one of my favorite dish. So yeah, I'll be back. All right guys, for my dinner, I'm gonna make zucchini and carrot rice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shred the carrots into like, you know, pieces like this. And then I will chop it up into like rice length. It looks like long grain rice. <laughs> and now I'm gonna cook all the vegetables. I'm gonna cook them separately because of the colors. You can just cook it on the pan by itself or you can add a little bit of oil. Now we're gonna make oyakodon, which is like a Japanese chicken egg dish. So here's our chicken thigh. I got about 450 grams here. That's about one pound. So instead of using dashi stock, which normally has glucose in it, unless if you make it yourself, I'm just gonna use my bone broth. I'm also gonna chuck in some capsicums, lots of ginger, salt, pepper, tamari sauce. Normally I add some cooking sake as well, but I ran out, so I'm not gonna add today. So oyakodon is usually quite sweet, so I'm gonna add some stevia. And now I'm gonna cook it. So I've added some water and oh my god, the broth is so rich. Um, and now I'm gonna add some eggs. So here's the final dish. That's the carrots, that's the zucchini, and this is the eggy chicken. Wow, oh my god, it looks so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of seaweed and sesame seasoning. Ah, it's finally done. Let's bite. Mm. So this is kind of like a healthy oyakodon. It's not gonna taste exactly the same, but it is good enough. I reckon it is really good. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this over a TV show and I'll be back. So I've eaten about 1,400 calories today, which is a little bit more than what's recommended for me. But in terms of my macro breakdown, it is like on point. So that's really good. Didn't really exercise today. I just went for a walk this morning. Yeah, I'm gonna exercise tomorrow. I normally take like about two to three days off like every week. I don't really want to stress out my body too much. So I normally take about two or three days off. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out Life Sum down in the description box. It is completely free. But if you do want to try the premium version, which is the one I'm using, I do have a discount code for you guys and that's Chloe30 for 30% off. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video and also turn on notifications because I have a new program coming out soon, like very, very soon, like in a week. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!